while I'm waiting here for my first course, can we just talk about the decorations here? I mean, how many different surfaces and patterns are there in this room? Even it exciting, know exactly what to do to blow my mind. You're from another planet. I've never felt like this. I don't know how I ever survived without it. I'm sorry, I got me upside down, spinning around you. The morning stretch class was canceled again because. I was the only person there, and I'm sure that there's going to be no aerobics either. Directly after the morning stretch was supposed to happen, there was a cornhole tournament, so I played some cornhole, did not win, and then I got my COVID test. I don't know why they're testing everybody in the middle of the cruise on a sea day, but it is like it is, and because it's basically empty, I decided to come up to the gym and just do some stretching and exercises on my own. Full disclosure, this is a rarity. Maybe you seeing me up here in the gym will motivate you to do something more active, but I just don't want you to think that this is like my every day. If I could play tennis every day, I would. Sometimes I do in the summer, but like going to the gym and working out, not my thing anymore. I just got back to the cabin and check this out. They fixed the squeaky door. Now that's what I call service. Let me show you the list of activities for today. This is the, the daily, like the daily compass or whatever it's called on other cruise lines here. It's called the Ogia Bordo. And so if it's 1130 now, there's a free makeup seminar. I'm gonna skip that one. And the next thing scheduled is not until 3.30 with a music quiz. Might check that out. Now there, there's more games and challenges. Here's a creative workshop, a free seminar, a bright look. Those kind of things, you know, they happen on every cruise line. And then we've got more quiz time. There's a bubble show, jackpot bingo, functional gymnastics probably will also be canceled and then pretty much more of the same tonight there's a guy named mikey barber in the theater who is a robbie williams uh, like tribute performer and then at 11 15 there's the black and white party wait is there no yes and of course then at midnight the disco night party begins and will last until some 50 year old man starts dancing with little girls. You don't know what I'm talking about. Watch yesterday's video. I was just getting ready to leave for lunch and there was a knock on my door and it was a guy bringing me this. A Costa Cruz's luggage tag. It's, uh, it's very durable. It reminds me of the free luggage tags that you used to get like five, six years ago when you would book a stay at an official Disney resort in Florida. They would give you nice, thick, like really cool collectible luggage tags. Not anymore, but Costa Cruises does. Anyway, I've been working here for a while and now it's lunchtime. Once again, some of this amazing focaccia that they're so good at here on board. Some mixed veggies. 
This is a potato cake. This looks really interesting. Then I have some black rice and veggies here and some kind of baked pasta. The black rice is excellent. It's basically wild rice is what it is. Reminds me of Minnesota. My dad makes a really great wild rice with veggies. And I decided to just dump it out onto the plate here and mix it with the veggies. So it was more of a, you know, more of like a dish together. And what this is is basically mashed potatoes that's been made into sort of like a patty shape and then yeah slightly fried on both sides and then there's a little bit of parmesan and i don't know what is that parsley chives on top if you like mashed potatoes oops the pasta is okay what's good about it is you know it's been baked so the top has a like a texture to it i don't want to say a crunch but it's it's a different texture than below there's, I think, looks like ricotta cheese in here and some other kind of stringy cheese, really nice cheese pull. If I were asked to improve the recipe, I would suggest putting a little bit of garlic in it, but it's fine, it's fine. And I can only say it again, I am not disappointed with the food. I decided to treat myself to a little bit better wine tonight, so I ordered this bottle of, of red wine, and it's much better than the house wines. And uh, while I'm waiting here for my first course, can we just talk about the decorations here? I mean, how many different surfaces and patterns are there in this room? There's this on the seats, and then the carpet is a different pattern. On the chairs is a different pattern than the carpet. Then up here, we have like these comets or starbursts. And then over there on that wall, there's like red lights and whatever that is. And to top it all off, there's reflective surfaces everywhere. It's it's a lot. And if the, uh, the pictures are looking a little different tonight, it's because I brought my other camera. This one is much better in the dark light, but I forgot the card in my computer, so I'm using my phone. It's late night cocktail cam. Part of the video where I tell you about the things that I didn't get to show you. And I started making a list because I forget. One thing that I wanted to make sure I mention is that the frequent cruisers club on Costa is called the Costa Club. Extremely creative name. On Royal Caribbean, it's called Crown and Anchor Club. On NCL, it's called latitudes and as i import the files from today i just wanted to encourage you if you are going on a costa cruise make sure that you sign up for the costa club because there's a lot of things on board that you can pay extra for and with a membership in the costa club which doesn't cost you anything to sign up for you get a discount for 
almost all those things. The bottle of wine that I bought tonight, I mean, even though I already have a drink package, you know, I bought the bottle of wine because the wine that's included with the drink package is not to my liking. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna splurge, buy a bottle of wine, but I got a 25% discount on the bottle of wine just because I'm in the Costa Club. So my tip for you, sign up for the Costa Club. I just realized also that today was a sea day. I didn't wear my sea day shirt, even though I have it with me. Another thing that I didn't get to show you today is that I got to play ping pong. I was walking uh, by the ping pong table up at the top, the like the balcony deck of the indoor pool, and there was a guy playing ping pong with his son and I just asked can I jump in and maybe play a game and then we didn't um we didn't play like a ping pong match we just played we just like practiced we hit the ball back and forth and it was two against one and it was a lot of fun and uh I felt like I did a little bit of tennis training although the dad was really good he had like some he had some trick shots I would actually like to play a ping pong match against him, but you know, it's not like I'm gonna go walking all through the ship to find out where he is someday and be like, hey, remember me? I wanna play a ping pong match. But if they happen to like, I don't know, take a seat next to me at the lunch buffet or something, then maybe I'll ask him. I don't think the son would wanna play with me. He seemed kinda of shy. This afternoon, I also went to a quiz. It was a music quiz, and I'm really good at Name That Tune. I have a really great memory and ear for music, melodies, and lyrics. Don't ask me to remember somebody's telephone number unless it's part of a song, but I'm really good at remembering songs and melodies. So I went there thinking it was gonna be like the traditional one where you get an answer sheet and then they play just a couple seconds of a song and then you have to write down the title and the artist or one or the other, but it wasn't like that. They, the way that they're doing it, I, I either wanna say now or on this ship altogether, is um, whoever thinks they knows it first raises their hand and then the fun club person goes to them and asks them the answer. And what made it a little bit less fun for me because you know of my competitive spirit was, it wasn't really a competition. It was just about her going around and asking, did you get this one? Did you get this one? There was actually three rounds of quiz. It was movie music, movie posters, and then I think the third one was gonna be general, but I much prefer where you write it down on a piece of paper and then, you know, get it corrected and see how many right answers did you get rather than it's like everybody's sitting there playing on one team. I don't know, for some reason I find that less fun. Then uh, later this afternoon on the indoor pool deck, the one of the artists who did the show last night had a bubbles act where he did all these amazing things with bubbles. I recorded just a little bit of it and just the, the longer that his program went on, and I wanna say it's probably 25, 30 minutes long maybe of just doing stuff with bubbles and it was not boring. Yeah, he was filling them with smoke and filling them with helium and they were floating everywhere and then a bubble within a bubble would pop and then the smoke would come out and fill the next bubble. It was really, really interesting and the kids that were sitting around watching it were fascinated by it. So if you're ever looking for something really special for your child's birthday party, book a bubble artist. My tip for you. Tomorrow the ship is going to be uh, in Palermo or Palermo and I've been there a few times. I won't be leaving the ship. I did not book an excursion. If you uh, just, is, this is the first of this series that you're watching. We are not allowed to leave the ship without an official excursion, although I found out that other ships are I don't know what that's about. I think that tomorrow I'm going to do a room service video and I'm definitely gonna do either the cabin tour or one of the ship tours. I have to tell you something, the ship, the layout is confusing. This is my third day. I've been doing a lot of walking around the ship and I still don't know a couple things. I still don't know a good way to get from the front of the ship to the back on the top without having to walk through the buffet. And if you walk through the buffet during the day, then every time they scan your card and make you put sanitizer on your hands just to walk through the buffet to get to the pool at the back, there is a way to walk outside. I've done it a few times and 
every time I do it, I find it sort of by chance. And I have to remember next time to like pay attention. All right, it's this door. If I go through this door and then down those stairs, that's the way. I think there's really just a passageway on one side of the ship to go on the top from the front to the back without going through the buffet. I'll try to find that too. Whatever I end up recording and uploading, I hope that you come back and enjoy it, and I'm having a good time showing it to you. See you then. So